Today's show is pre recorded. I sure will. Good morning, everybody. You are listening to The Voice now. Come on, dig me. One and only Steve Harvey. Got a radio show. One more time, partner. Steve Harvey got a radio show. Man, how amazing is that? How good has God been to me? How good has he been to you? Just check yourself sometimes. Just sit up and just, just run a survey. Just look at your life where it's at. It might not be where you want it to be, but that's probably some decisions you made. But really, though, in spite of all the crazy mistakes I done made, I mean, man, I I, I, I look back at some of the decisions I done came up with, and, and, and man, it's, it's, it's just amazing he let me live. I mean, it's, it's, and, and, and to exist the way I exist, it, it, that's nothing but grace. Mercy, favor, all that is. That's what my mama praying for me when I wasn't praying for myself. It had to be it because, man, I can truly tell you, I have made enough mistakes, man, stuff you would never even know about and recovered from them all. You can too. And I don't care what you've done. Marvin Sapp has a song out that says, he saw the best in me when everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. You know, that, that's an important song, man. Especially, you know, I want to talk to men today because, uh, man, being a man is so, so difficult. Please know, it, it, it has been my quest ever since I was a little boy. My father had one ambition. Son, I don't care what you do, but when I get through raising you, you will be a man. That's all I want you to be. He never cared what I did for a living. It never made a difference to him. You're going to be a man. Manhood is difficult. Now, ladies that's listening to this, I'm not saying womanhood ain't. I don't know what it takes to be a woman. So, you know, I'm, I'm, but I do know exactly what it takes to be a man. So, you know, sometimes when you talk to people on the radio, you have to preface things because people are just go, he trying to make it look like womanhood ain't. No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just talking to men today to explain to them that they ain't by themselves and struggling trying to figure this thing out, that you are not alone in your quest for manhood, that it's difficult. But I'm, I, I got I, I to gotta tell you, man, um, manhood is that kind of difficult, and it becomes even more compounded if a young boy does not have a male role model. I've said it a thousand times, I'll say it again. A young boy without a male role model is like an explorer without a map. 
Well, I have a suggestion for everybody that's struggling with manhood and all of the men out there that are men. This message is for all of us, and it's for me too. You know, I was listening to Joyce Myers the other day, and um, she made a statement. She said, sometimes you got to do the right thing even when it feels wrong. You know, one of the difficulties of manhood is peer pressure and the misguided principles of manhood. See, what God wants us to be as men and what we believe manhood is is, is sometimes two different things. I'll give you an example. I wrote this book for women, right? And um, I was telling them the three ways that a man shows his love. And I called them three P's. We profess, we protect, and we provide. Every man who is a man, that's how he exhibits love. We're not talky-talky, comforting, we're not great nurturers. But when it comes down to, to it, what we all want to do, what is in our DNA, is to profess our love for something, you as a woman, to protect you as a woman, and to provide for you as a woman. That's in our DNA. Now, sometimes that gets messed up. And I'll give you an example. Sometimes when a boy doesn't have the proper real role model in his life, he takes that principle of love that we all possess in us, every man, the professing part, the protecting, and the, and the, and the providing part, and we misplay it. That's why gangs exist. Gangs exist off those three principles. What's the first thing a gang member do? He profess. He claim a hood. That's the first thing he do. This is my neighborhood. I'm Deuce Trey. I'm Triple H. I'm Doop de Doop. I'm purple. I'm, I'm red. I'm blue. First thing they do is claim. That's professing. That's how we show our love. But it's misguided, though. Now we professing something that ain't even good for us. Your hood, your gang, your clique. Now, guess what? Now we got to protect it. So now, as a protection part of our love, here we go. You come down here, we gonna do this to you. You go over there, they gonna do that to you. You protect your hood, this your turf, this all you got. You ain't, ain't nobody coming down here with blue on, can't nobody come over here with red on, you can't come over here with purple on, you can't come over here with black and gold on. And we, and we protect that because that's in our DNA. And then what's the third thing? We provide. So guess what the gang need? Money. Guess what we do? We selling drugs, we selling women, we selling guns. It go back to the same thing, man. I don't know how God gave it to me that way when I was writing the book, but he showed it to me along the way. That's how men love. Well, when you don't have a role model in your life, guess what? Now that love is misplaced, it's misguided, it's off track. Ain't no man told you that really you're supposed to take this love and give it to a woman. you really supposed to profess, protect, and provide for a woman. Not your gang set. Now you professing your hood, repping a color, you protecting your territory, shooting people, driving by, coming over you on your street, and then you provide. Now you're out here selling drugs and guns for that same thing. When a boy does not have a male role model, he has a misguided way of looking at manhood. Here's the deal. See, God created all of us in his image. That means he's put some of our DNA in him. That's why it's in your DNA to profess, protect, and provide. Because guess what? That's what God do for us. Because we his children. I'm just talking to men right now. I'm just telling you, man, I had to wake up about five years ago. I wasn't doing what God wanted me to do. And then he shook me. He said, man, I'm going to bring about some changes in your life. I'm going to cause some things to happen that's going to put you in a position. And this time you're going to listen to me. Because if you don't, you're going to keep living in this pain you've been in. But you put yourself in this pain. I owe no blame to no one else but myself. Please know I know that. And that's how we, you really get to manhood when you figure out what you done done wrong. You can't blame this on none of your exes because you a man. You can't go, my ex did this. No, no. You a man, partner. You got to take responsibility for yours and yours alone. If you got kids, you got to get to them some kind of way. Write them a letter, send them the money. If she won't let you see it for the money, whatever. Send the money to her mama. Do what you're supposed to do as a man. Do what God wants you to do, man, because he not letting us off the hook for what we supposed to be just because you ain't doing it. And if you do it, you turn your life around. Just hollering at the fellas today. That's all. Sorry about that. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Man, greatest morning show on earth. Today's uh, show is dedicated to all the bass fishermen in the world. Everybody that bass fish. <laughs> what? Bass fish, crappie fish. Yes, sir. Yeah. Bucket yeah. sitters, brim sunfish, them fish, lake fishers. Yes, lake fishers, baby. Yeah, Fresh I love water. lake fishers, man. Fresh water. We, I don't, deep sea, another kind of fishing. We not doing them yet. We got love for you, but we just doing it's not lake. not your day. Fish, bank fishers. <laughs> bank People that's got boats. Worms go and there. minnows. Look for them. Hunt them down. <laughs> Big mouth bass, small mouth bass. Come on, boy. Pike, walleye. Let's do something. Do you eat them? you eat your catch? Hell yeah! <laughs> well, I know you'd cut. Well, you do catch I do. I do catch and release on my ranch, yeah. except on Friday. Oh. On Fridays, it's fish, fish fry. fry. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. then, what? You have to fill your pond, your lake up again? No, no, sure. They ain't there making babies now. Oh. Now all okay. the babies ain't gonna make it because big fish do eat little fish. Understand oh, yeah. that now. They do. Understand yeah. that. The law of the land. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Even yeah. if they is a catfish. Uh, nature. Hey dog. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your little ass over here. <laughs> but I'm a catfish. I'm one, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that damn bass will suck you down, man. That bass wow. will do you, man. That bass eat pretty much any. A, ba- a bass eat a small duck on the pond. What? what? Yeah, yeah. If it's if it's a big mouth bass. Oh, because it's such a big mouth. He's going to spit him out, though. No, he won't. Eating him means a eating him. No, 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 man. A baby duck? A big, a large big mouth bass? He'll hit a duck. Wow. He'll eat a frog. Ain't nothing. Really? Lizard. Wow. Anything go across that water, man. You got movement and he hungry. He gonna swallow you. He don't chew, he just swallow. Mm-hmm. Oh. Muscles do the rest. Yeah, you gone. <laughs> you gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crickets, bugs. <laughs> man, you see them water bugs laying on top of the water, all of a sudden you hear uh-huh. Gone. Would you hear that right there? That's it. He gone. Shirley, that's not the noise. Okay, it's my noise. But it's not. That's not a fish noise. You're drinking. What? You're drinking. Shirley, you don't want to go at 7 Eleven. Why are you so irritated by it, though? It's just. But I'm Shirley, just you don't being do silly. noise as good. <laughs> Gulk. Ruin everything. You're, good. you're they're not good. They're just good to you. Stop it. Doing noise. You're the angriest comedian ever. I don't, I don't need no help. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I don't need this no is help. For me, with my then. Damn it's joke. just a letter be for me. Let me write my joke. You want to add sound effects? Just go on, do it. Tommy? <laughs> yeah, dog. Tommy, do you want any sound effects with your joke? Oh. I'm telling you. Huh? Well, if they're kill. animals, I'm doing what. sound I, I, effects. Okay, okay. Junior, say an animal. <laughs> Whatever. Say it. You, and Junior, <laughs> okay. you, and you, and you and Junior work good. Go ahead, Junior. Coyote. Arr- there you go, Junior. See, the, the, from now on, you work with Junior. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's me and Tommy. Me. No, no. Me and Tommy. Animals, the I'm doing one more, one sound more. effects. One more. Hell. A big bear. <laughs> right there. Mm-hmm. Thank you and Junior. We'll be right back with some real funny right after this. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, here we go with something funny, Steve. Um, Personality is more important than looks to most people. While a lot of us are overly concerned about how we look, especially when it comes to finding a mate, it turns out looks really aren't everything. In fact, a new poll finds that 92%, 92% of people say they prefer a partner with a good personality to one with a great body. Overall, 81% of people say they're looking for a partner with a good personality, while 76% want one with a sense of humor. There you go, Steve, with a positive attitude. And 73% open-mindedness, 62% also important characteristics for a mate. So I got to ask you, Steve, I got to ask Junior and Tommy, you guys chime in too. What's the most important thing you're looking for in your significant other? And, And really how important are looks? Personality is critical. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely critical. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to need you to be cute, too, though. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Because yeah. what I'm not oh, yeah. going to be doing is sitting up in here with your ugly ass just because yeah. you're nice. Because you got a nice person. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sit up and do all that. Yeah. You know, I got you Thank nice. You. But, you Thank know, you, you're, you're, you're horrid. 
That used to be the standard if someone wasn't cute, that you'd ask them, are they cute? You'd say, well, they have a nice personality. That mean they was ugly, sure. That I know. cute. <laughs> That's all that meant right away. But, now, I would prefer personality over, you said, a great body. Yeah, yeah. Because my body got flaws. I can uh, accept a flaw on your body. That ain't no problem. A couple of flaws, you know. Okay. So I ain't worried about that. Mm-hmm. And it was 90 But in the face, though, <laughs> yeah. just the ro- rolling over every morning. <laughs> Look, looking at that? No, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, you know, I'm gonna need something now. Till death do us part. Yeah, <laughs> kill me now. <laughs> Till you die, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm Till every I die. morning. And what I'm not gonna do is die every morning. You wake up. <laughs> well, I mean that's so. But it's every me. day you die. Yeah. I need day. for you out of makeup to resemble the person <laughs> in makeup. I Hello. need that. Okay, so men, we know men are visual. We got that. Men are very visual. Women are too, Shirley. Okay, and I was that's what lie. I that's what I was coming to. And you guys, all of you guys, well, with the exception of Tommy, you guys say you're not cute. So where are we now? No, I'm not cute. I ain't and cute. Tommy we not still cute with either. them not cute and I'm as cute. <laughs> what is Tommy. we what was what, what? Tommy, you're not You're not cute. gonna make me ugly. Uh, uh <laughs> You, you not, was born that way, Tommy. I wasn't You're not born, cute. no. Okay. Okay, okay, Tommy, let me ask you a question. List your flaws. Damn, my flaws. Ooh, it might take limited. a minute. It is limited, Talk, man. talk amongst Come yourselves. Come on, Tommy. If yeah. I have yeah. one. Yeah. Come on, boy. <laughs> my shoulders ain't, like, nice, you know. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, hamstrings, yeah, right, of course, is right. gone to hell. See, your mm. shoulders ain't, ain't good, ain't like my shoulders. No, you got broad. You wide. Now, you wide. I ain't got that. I ain't got that. Mm, Come on. Your shoulders. Okay. Come on. Your shoulders. My foam star with SH. Come on. Uh-huh. So far, it's just shoulders. Well, the other one star with SH, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sh- shoulders and sh- sh- Come on. Sh- listen. First of all, what? I'm not short, but short can be sexy. So let's not let's not kill that, Okay. You don't have to be tall to be sexy. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not tall, but I'm not short. No, women don't have to be tall to be sexy. Right. No, I'm, I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about people, period. There's, well, there's short, pretty women. women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what, what do you short, mean people, period? Short, there's <laughs> short, <laughs> there's sexy. Uh, there's short, sexy women, and there's good-looking, shorter men. What, <laughs> what are you talking about? Mm. What, uh, well, what is wrong with we have, we're, we're just at the shoulders, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish up. You shoulders. What else wrong? It's another one. Got some. Uh, lower back ain't where it ought to be. Got hair on it. You know, it's just, it's just some well, things. You can't you know? see your lower back because of your other flow. Shoulder. Come on. <laughs> Show it. It's another one with the SA. Come on. Does he need oh, help, man. Steve? Because. Say, yeah. Okay, here we go. You finna well, claim I got a, hint, a high Steve. behind. A I don't have a high behind. No, I, I don't claim what? nothing. You can't see your lower back. If, Tommy, when you put your belt on. If your belt buckle is lower than the top of your ass, what do you think that's from? <laughs> Them just bad belts. Bad, bad belts? Built. Yeah. Oh, bad belts. built is what you bad mean. Bad belts. Okay, belts. Tommy, 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 let me help you with your with your shortcomings. The flaws Literally. is your shoulders, you got a high ass, you're short, and your profile. Dex. Profile. <laughs> That's all of me. What is you talking what? about? <laughs> what do you mean profile? Yeah, I mean, I mean look at it. When he from turns the side. to the side? Yeah. <gasps> wow. I never noticed. Okay, ladies, look at me from the side. Okay. Yeah. Now, no, now do you see anything he talking about? Yeah. What are you saying? Well, What's yeah, wrong I with don't, profile, yeah, we don't, Steve? What you, you don't see a jawline. Oh, I don't have his a chin, chin run straight down into his chest. My son said that. My, I don't. Okay, I don't have a chin. So that's that make me ugly though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With well, chinless, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. We're, Just get yeah, over here. We man. should have chins in life. Yeah, seriously. Okay. Yeah. Our family not famous for that. My profile tore up. So, How much do chins cost? You mm, get implants all day. Okay. So if oh, I get a chin, no then I'm. No, he don't need no implants. <laughs> Do I, if I get a chin, then I look good. Okay. So it ain't the chin. <laughs> You're supposed no, to be encouraging him. He ain't encouraging nothing. No. no well, no. I didn't say I was going to encourage you. I said list your shortcomings. You seem to be struggling. 
shoulder short, high ass, and your profile. And your hamstrings is gone. What is yours? And your jumping ability is spot. What is are gone. yours? Let's get some more money. I got big lips. I got a full nose. My profile is shot. My stomach cannot seem to get reduced. Okay, we got to go. This this could take forever. Uh, coming up next, <laughs> Mr. Steve, you tell me. You just fine right off. <laughs> right, because I know that. Uh, run That Prank Back is coming up with the nephew. <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Right now, it's time for the nephew to run that prank back. What you got, Neff? I'm going to prank one of my favorite rappers. Okay. This right here, Scarface. Hey. I'm trying to reach a Brad Jordan, a.k.a. Scarface. You might have the wrong number. Who is this here? Who is this here? My name is Craig. I'm with uh, NCRA. That's uh, No Cussing Rappers Association. May I speak to a Brad okay, Jordan? Wait. Yeah, you got the right number. Okay, is this Scarface? Or should I say Mr. Brad Jordan? Is this the No Cussing Association? I said NCRA, No Cussing Rappers Association. And what we doing is we shutting down rappers that do all this cussing and this profanity on their CDs. Well, you're a bad b- You shut me down. Okay. I want to see that happen. Okay, hold up, sir. First of all, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to tell you this. Now, my understanding is you, you're releasing your uh, album coming out. It hasn't been. You haven't done an album since five years from now, I understand it. I just want to sit down and have a meeting with you and listen to your CD and make sure it's no crazy lyrics in it because I am with the No Cussing Rapping Association. Yeah, who put you on that? What do you mean, who put me on this, sir? Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, what, we can set up, if we can set up an interview, meet me, meet, where you at? I'll tell you what, this is what I'm going to do, sir. I don't, I don't want to really, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm self-appointed, okay? So what I don't want to do is I don't want to call Jay-Z or, or Jermaine Dupree and get them all in this. Is. All I want is is to hear your thing, hear your CD before it's dropped, because what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to let it get released if it is not what I want on a CD from now on. NCRA, No Cussing Rappers Association, we are here to stop all cussing on these CDs. Okay. All right. Well, you got a big mountain to climb. I want to see you do that. You and how many, you and what army gonna do this? I have quite a few people that are following me with the NCRA. There's quite oh, a few. Okay. Matter of fact, there's 250 strong at this point of the No Cussing Rappers Association, sir. You said 250 strong? Uh, give or take a few. All right, well, s- bring them with you. You're gonna need them. Sir, listen, I'm gonna say this to you one time. How can I get your CD in my hand so I can listen to it, verify that it's good to go to the shelf or not go to the shelf? Now, one thing I want to tell you is this here. We don't have a fear of any of you rappers. Let's get that out there now. Now, I know your name is Mr. Scarface, but I will put a scar on your face. Hold on. Let me me make it real quick to you, man. Let me put something on your mind so you can feel, you know, a little bit better about yourself. Get you some business, here. Hey, you barking up the wrong tree, homeboy. Sir, I'm not gonna play no games with you, but you stay out of my business. Sir, all I'm saying is I want to hear you and your 250. You man, buy the you want to hear. That's what you do. Download it. I'm not gonna. Well, you ain't, well, you, you, you ain't gotta do. You ain't gotta do a thing, but but make it like smart. I'm, I'm definitely that way. That, that way, me and you can definitely have a problem. Sir, sir, I'm trying not to have a problem with you. My, all well, I want you, is if you keep with me, you gonna have a problem, and I'm gonna leave it like that, man. You can take it how you want to take it. Princess. I'm not leaving. You act like I'm scared of you. I'm not afraid of you. I am with skin. Man, I'm not, I'm not, I don't give a f- who you with, man. You can be with whoever the f- you want to be with. F- you Look here, man. I'm with NCRA, No Cussing man, Rappers I'm, Association. I'm with these f- You know what? Your mind is playing tricks on you. That's uh, your mind playing tricks on you. Watch your f- mind, homeboy. Sir, I'm going to say this one time to you. Man. And I'm trying to really keep it formal, Mr. Scarface. Hello? Did he hang up? Hello? Call him back. Mr. Mr. Scarface, I'm calling back again. <laughs> gonna prank your heart and Tommy's gonna win. <laughs> hey. Why the hell you hanging up on me? You, hey, man, look here, man. No, you f- with me, man. Let me tell you something, man. I ain't no f***ing armors, you know? Fire me. Get me fired. I'm not, you, you, no, no, man, man, I don't want to hear that, man. Ain't you self-employed? I'm employed, I employ my self, you sure right. All right, then, I'm with no, you work for whoever that is you work for, man, but you stay out of my business, man. I'm with no cussing rappers association, and I need to, hey, man, I don't give a damn who you with, homeboy. Look here, man, you, you, man, you burning up my business, man. It's it's too early for this, homeboy. Do do you want to meet me to square this away, because I don't have a problem with that. 
but you're not going to be cussing on these albums. I mean that. Where you want to meet at, homeboy? So we can get this Wait, how you want to do it? It don't make me know. I told you I got 250 followers. Give or take a few. Give a damn. How many people you had, man? Uh, I don't. You, you don't even, you can't even begin to imagine what's trying to go down if you play these games with me, man. I will have people I'm, picking I'm, I'm, it. Look here, man. I'm going to put the brakes on this right now, man, because you, 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 you piss me off. You can call me with this like you, you like, man, like you showing up trying to pull some strings and stop my man. Look here, man. Instead of being concerned about what the I'm saying and what I'm doing, man, you might need to step back and take a look at the condition of these in the first place and why they in that position, homeboy. And I ain't, what I said ain't got to do with it, all right? That's that Willie Lynch, man. Y'all, y'all put that on me like it's my fault. I know what I'm talking about and you don't. It's what? on that huh? What is you talking about, Willie Lynch? What is you talking about? That's all right. Read about it. You, you, oh, you trying to act like you got more knowledge than me now. I'm, I'm not trying to act like a thing. I tell you what, though. And I'm gonna say what I want. And just for that M M R C who the hell are you with? No rap on that too. No rapping, cussing or so no cuss you know who I'm with. Yeah, I know who you're gonna be with. You keep <laughs> with me. Who? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I say something else to you? I don't want you can't say a <laughs> thing to me. I'm through with you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got prank scar face. <laughs> Man, y'all wrong. <laughs> Face, where you at, baby? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out who I'm going to sit up there. I'm trying to hook up with you real quick. I'm 250 people, man. What's that? Lord have mercy. All right, man. Y'all got me. You got me. I got, you got your me. face. I'm from the crib. Yeah, you you my homeboy. I had to go get you, man. Come on now, man. You do me like that, man. <laughs> hey, man, let me ask you something, bro. They, now, they tell me you got you got an album finna come out, right? Man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm finna drop a record, man, but I don't, I don't know if I'm finna <laughs> drop the record now, man. Y'all <laughs> got me thinking about the people against cussing. Now, you know, I don't say no bad words like that, man. Uh, Y'all told me like I was... <laughs> but that was a good one, dog. All right, brother. That right there was a good one, man. <laughs> that album is coming out, man. Uh, well, all right. Now you got you got to at least get a single to me, man, so I can check you out. Yeah, I got some. I got some good stuff too, man. I got your face. You know? <laughs> I got you, man. And no matter how no, <laughs> and no matter how the the no rappers custom association <laughs> try to point that blame at at what these rappers is doing, man. That's a lot that happened way before the rappers did it. Yeah, you right about that, now. You know what I mean? That's real talk. That's real talk. All right, let me ask you one more thing, baby. What is the baddest radio show in the land? Yeah, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. <laughs> you already know, and you got me on it, too. Tell Steve I say what's happening, man. <laughs> well, that's how you prank a rapper right there. Wow. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> Coming up at the top of the hour, we'll have some entertainment and national news for you right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. So, Steve, now... <laughs> What is this? Women always beat men at arguments. We know this, but Wait, are you they guys... do <laughs> because they do things that men don't do and are incapable of doing. Uh-huh. Here's some reasons okay. that you'll never win an argument. How about the first one you need to understand? And above all else, they don't forget. What? Never. No. Nothing. No. Never. Never. No. Never. Uh, Nothing. No. They don't forget a doggone thing. Nope. Mm-hmm. You oh. let it go. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I forgive you, uh-huh. but she banked all that information. That's right. Women have the biggest hard drive in their <laughs> brains ever created. Yeah. IBM ain't got nothing yeah. on a woman's hard drive, baby. Like you guys solved. with sports stats. Uh, yeah. You mm-hmm. can't erase their hard drive. <laughs> it's locked in forever. Remember your 1998? Remember That's that? Right. When I got that number uh-huh. out your pocket, it was Connie's number. Remember that? Mm-hmm. You remember Here's Connie? Another one. <laughs> Here was another one. Uh-huh. You know what we do? What? Mm-hmm. We delete information, right? Yeah. Oh, we you mean it. the men yeah. do? We get it off our phone, yeah. computer, it's everything. Gone. Gotta get rid of it. They don't. They don't delete. They no. don't delete. Why, why would we do that? <laughs> that, that? That's stupid. It's called evidence. Right, baby. <laughs> I'll tell you another thing they got. They got a picture of everything. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Yes, I. Even if it ain't a photograph, it's a mental image. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> they got you. You know guys, women. Come on, yes. Steve. You guys forget. 
And don't say, here's another one. Okay. And don't say you didn't say something. Uh-huh. You're right. You didn't say it, but you texted. Oh, yes. <laughs> and guess what? Your dumb ass forgot. <laughs> Again. Here it is right here. I got it. I saved you. Yep. <laughs> Here's another reason women always win. Because women don't care if you answer or pick up their phone. No, they, no. Don't. No. they don't. No, they don't. No. No, they don't. Yeah. You know why? Because all you're going to find is pictures of shoes, <laughs> recipes, baby pictures, and hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> you're right with me, except yeah, for the good. recipes. They I have, have no evidence on they damn phone. <laughs> uh-huh. None. Nope. No. Go ahead, yeah. look in it. Look. Go ahead. Three, seven, six, five. I don't have any yeah, recipes in mind. Look at the pig coat. Go ahead. Here's the other reason you can't win an argument, because they can see who you calling on your phone from yes. a mile away. Yes, we can. I don't give a damn what kind of protective screen you got on there. The black one that you can't see from the side, mm. she can see it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta see. So who is she? Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 This, this is scary. Uh, this, this is, is real. Mom, yeah. I said, huh? Here's another reason you can't remember. You, you can't win an argument. Why? Because they remember exact dates. Ooh, yes, yes, Lord. They yes, remember Lord. exact yes. dates with. The details, mm-hmm. what you had on, mm-hmm. oh, what you yes. was eating, yeah. all of that, what car you was in, yeah, mm-hmm. where you was sitting. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't win. Yeah. Breathe it out, Jay. Breathe it out. <laughs> There's another reason you can't win an argument with a woman. You ready? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Without even setting it up. Uh-huh. They lie for each other. Yes, yes, they do, baby. <laughs> high five, Carla. High five, yes. Carla. Well, I have to talk. High five. <laughs> they don't have to set it they up. They got to do none of that. Carla, where was I yesterday? At my house? At my house. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Immediately. And we were watching the Atlanta we have Housewives. To make the call it has to be to set, set it up. up. We yeah. were watching the Atlanta Housewives. Because remember when Needy had said, mm-hmm. I got to call Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Unk, I was with you in Vegas. I got to say something. <laughs> and here's the I other like reason you can't win an argument. Because they have one put down <laughs> that no man has ever been able to top. Here's the put down they use. Stop acting like some little old girl. <laughs> Except they don't use girls. <laughs> did she just call me? Did she, uh-huh. did she just? After hey, that, hey, you're you shaking to the core. Yeah. He came. You can't come back. No, from there's that. no comeback. For that not, one, like right now, you just stuck on that. <laughs> yeah. Stop yeah. acting like some little old girl. But they don't say girl. But they don't say girl. Now you up in here. All you hear is that. We win again. <laughs> now the argument. You ain't got no more points. Uh-huh. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Yeah. Stop acting like a little Actually, old. you was winning the argument. Yeah, you were winning since she, <laughs> since she hit that. <laughs> we know how to shut it down. That hurts. Wow. Ah. Wow. Man. Yeah. And we're never going to win one, man. Why does never. that hurt so much like that? Oh, because Why? there's no comeback. You got no comeback for that. But let me tell you something, ladies. Yes. You should never say that to your man. No, I would never say that to my husband. I've, I've never been. Because, because words cut really deep. And once you cut a man so deep, how do you fix that? And wow. I know women who have used that on their man a lot. Uh-huh. And I'm telling you, really? it's hard to come back for that. Mm-hmm. Because men, our comeback for that is, well, okay, I'll tell you what. I know somebody don't think I'm a little old girl. Yeah. Because what they, that's, that's the ultimate insult for a man. You just a little old girl. Man. Can't come back from that. No. Nah. And when you do that to a man, you damage him. Mm. What'd you say, Tommy? Ouch. <laughs> ouch. No, not ouch. ouch. Mm. Not ouch. Mm. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> it's ugly, man. It's very ugly. Yeah. I'm serious. That one hurt right there. This is how your woman really feel about you. Yeah. What's bad is when you see a guy get done in public like that. Oh, I've seen oh, that. You see that? That's the worst. That, that is the oh, worst. Oh, man. I, I don't, mm-mm. When you, I, I, when I you see his lady do that, that to him in yeah. public, yeah. you be like, oh, yeah. that hurts yeah. me. Yeah. That, that hurts women to see that. That hurts right. women. Yeah. Women do don't like to see that. Yeah. Oh, man. We'll come right back with more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show right after this. 
You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, Jay's here. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you this with the great pleasure a man that murders hits, relationships, and friendships, J. Anthony Brown. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Johnny Gill wrote a song called Soul of a Woman. Oh, I love this song. Soul of a Woman. Great song. Yes. I was on the set when he did a video. Great song. My oh. song, along with my buddy Ralph Harris, Uh-oh. Hawkins Jr., we wrote Someone Stole My Woman. So uh-huh. check it out. Special guest, come make see me. Heal. All right, more of this crazy, ignorant show. Steve Harvey Morning Show right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Okay, Steve, CLO, Chief Love Officer. This young lady's name is Kara L. Kara L. She's out of Atlanta, and she sent in an email to Steve Harvey FM. She said how okay. she was. Uh, no, she didn't mention her age, but by the questions, perhaps you can tell. She said, Steve, this is what I would like to ask Mr. Harvey, uh, because I don't know what's going on with me and my ex-boyfriend. Number one, Steve, do men have serious conversations with women that they don't really care about or just want to sleep with? That's her first do question. They, do you want to deal with that? Do they have conversations with women with that the they women don't care about? Or just want to or sleep what? with? Mm-hmm. Or just yeah. want to sleep with? Yeah, men have serious conversations with women that they don't care about. Yes. Yeah, man can have How a serious conversation. How you think we're going to sleep with you if we don't have this conversation? With, right. <laughs> and do, women, do they have serious CLO? conversations with women that they just want to sleep with? Yes. That's the most serious conversation you're going to have. Hello? I, my whole heart is open <laughs> That's a big you. one. <laughs> because I'm trying to sleep with you. There is no limits to that. Yeah. So, yes. Men have conversations with women that they don't care about. We, you can have a friend. And you will have serious conversations with women that you just want to sleep with. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very serious. She's young, Steve. She I love you. Age, but yeah. No, I love you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And been on five yeah. minutes. Well, that's pretty serious right there. Say That's what you girl, need Girl, he to said hear. he loved me. Yeah. Mm. 
Girl. Ooh, girl. He said he loved me. Yeah. And in I the middle you. of it, you can get he it all me. the whole time in this session. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Go get it all up. Yeah. I love no, you. Do you know what we have said wait? in the session? No, can't you wait for me? you to get out of here. Woo. <laughs> yeah. How do men just up and leave after a long, serious relationship? Because men don't do closure. Men do not need closure. It's over. Women okay. need closure. Most men don't. We can just up and leave because this is it. So the best way to get over you is with another you. Hello. Mm. Yes. Now, that he doesn't mean he ain't somewhere hurting and bleeding on the inside. He can be internally bleeding. Okay. Oh, he can be crushed. He can be jacked up. But if it, if we moving on, we moving on. Because to go back and talk to this with you is to bring up an old scab, and that's called closure. We're not finna do that. Well, she also had a question about closure, so I think you answered it. She said, Go you ahead. say uh, men do not give closure, and she wants to know why don't men give closure. For what? It's over. It's over. The reason Thank men you. don't give closure <laughs> yeah. is because it's over. Man. The how you come and the why about. not is going to take us into a deeper level of conversation. We don't need to have. <laughs> I don't want you no more. But why? Not- See, now, now you finna get your feelings hurt. And Ooh. you could possibly hurt my feelings. See? Mm-hmm. So, because once I tell you so what I really think, and then not. you tell me what you really think, now both of us sitting there hurt, and I ain't going to be able to take what you said. We not I, hurt you, my feelings. Yeah, you didn't have to tell me because no. I was small. <laughs> you didn't have to say that to me. <laughs> See, that that's right why there. we don't have closure. Yeah. You, you, I told you <laughs> our sex one wasn't question. that good. And then you spawned on me and said, it's because you small. Now that mm. right there, that, see that's why we not finna do closure. I gave you cause, cause the sex ain't good. Well, the sex ain't good cause you too small. God dog, hold up. Uh huh. All right. And her last question for you, Steve, Chief Love Officer, uh-huh. is if a man leaves and keeps coming back, what does that mean? That means that's you are gullible and you allow him to return uh-huh. to the scene of the crime. We leave cause we don't want you. We just wanted something from you. So if we keep coming back, it's because we just want what you got. We don't want Mm. you. We just want what you Mm. got. And if you gullible enough to let us keep coming back, then bam, you something wrong with you. If you don't think that much of yourself, then why should we? (laughs) Hello. Well, Kara, I hope that answered your question. Wow. Steve Harvey, you better tell the truth, boy. Okay. I know I'm mm. telling the truth now. You may not like the truth, but it is the truth. Why? Right. That ain't right, right, Steve Harvey. I didn't say it was right. I said it was true. <laughs> All right, up next, nephew, <laughs> <laughs> with the prank phone call for today, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after it's today's Strawberry Letter. Uh, My subject today is my baby won't stop cussing. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) She knew knew to write to, didn't (laughs) she? (laughs) We're going to get into that. Yeah, we're going to get into that uh, right after uh, the nephew gives us today's prank phone call. What you have for us today, Neff? You're not a good homeschool teacher. Who are you talking about? You, 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 uh, no, you're not a good homeschool teacher. Let's go, cat. Let's go. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach a Nikki. This is Nikki. Could How you me? doing, Nikki? Uh, I am, I'm Mr. Daniels. I'm calling from the e-learning department. Hey. All right. Your daughter is, is Jasmine, correct? Sixth grader? Yes, sir. Yes, she is. All right, and you've been, uh, you guys have been corresponding back and forth with Miss and her teacher. Yes. All right. So here's my, I'm calling. Uh, Miss has brought some things to my attention. Uh, Nikki, if you don't mind, who's who's actually helping Jasmine with her schoolwork? That would be me. Every day, what a task. All right. So I hate to be a bearer of bad news, but let me let you know what's going on. Is something um, on her computer? No, that's not anything wrong with her computer at all. I've spoken with Miss C- several times about Jasmine, and we've just balled it down to whoever is helping her with her work is just not doing a good job. 
you should not be the person that's helping her with her schoolwork. Okay, hold on. Now, what what you mean? I shouldn't be helping her. That's my child. You said I, I, I shouldn't understand. be teaching my child? I'm saying whoever is teaching her is not doing a good job as a teacher, you know, and this could affect Jasmine to the point where from the looks of what I've seen and, and what's been turned in, I truly don't see Jasmine going to the seventh grade. I mean, this is, this is, um, is there anybody else there that can help Jasmine with her work? No, she got, she got me. What's wrong with her work? What Ms. got to say? Cause I just talked to her and she could have told me this. What's what what what's the subject? What's the problem? Math, well, it's all English, the science, reading, writing. It's, no, it's, it's not it's, all it's, of them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's the problem? What's what's the problem? Give me the assignment because I'm I I've been working with her. So what's the problem? Well, everything is coming back. I think the last uh, paper I looked at, she got a forty-five on it. Uh, I looked at some math work. It was a, a sixty-two. I mean, if you are the person that's teaching her over there, you're just not no, you can wait. good hold at on, that. Wait a minute. No, you hold on. And you can get Miss on the phone, too, because I I, y'all don't got my baby work. And if she got a problem, she can come teach the child. She can open up the schools and get them back. Because my baby is well, going, well, there, there's, there's no opening the schools at, at this point right now. There's no opening of the schools. So Look, we're, if, we're, if she got a problem, if she got a problem, then she can come teach my child. That's what she's supposed to be doing anyway. Okay, but the, the problem is right now you're the person that's at home teaching yes. the child. You're the person that's at home teaching the girl, and, and it's not helping. So I don't want Jasmine to not make it to the seventh grade, but at this point it, that's what it's looking like. Well, look, if I got to teach it, then she's going to learn it how I learned it. Okay, with this math, this new math they got these kids doing, no. She's going to learn it how I learned Five times five, 25. She's going to learn her timetable. Okay, but we can't, learn- ma- ma'am. You're undoing what we've taught already. You can't well, take them to back. Teach, to y'all s- need to teach it. A, y'all need to teach it a better way. I send my child to school for this. Okay, I'm not getting paid. I gotta cook. I gotta clean. I'm in here with these kids. I'm being a, a, a mother for all these kids and my husband. I don't have time for all of this. So if if, uh, if the teacher, well, I, the you teacher know, needs to come l- to well, let me say this, Miss Nikki. Let me let me say this, Miss Nikki. I don't have time for a parent not realizing that they're not a good teacher. I don't have I time don't have for time that. For whoever, who are you? Whoever you are, e learning department, whatever. You need to come e learn my child since I'm not doing it right. Then y'all need to come get over here and do this mother work. Do this work. Okay, ma'am, my if child you, if is you, going to the seventh grade. And if I gotta come up there when it when the school opens back, oh, church, you will see me. We don't have time okay. for this. We got too okay, much well, going on. You are not a good homeschool teacher. That's the <laughs> problem. <laughs> Baby, my child is going to the seventh grade. Oh, check. Mm-hmm. No. Who is your print? Who is the print? No. No. Let me talk to somebody else. You ain't doing it. My child is going to the seventh grade. She going to get this. She get this work. And y'all, y'all going to get this work, too. I'm, I'm not accepting uh uh, 45s and 62s on papers, ma'am, and, and going to let you, your daughter advance to the seventh grade. That's okay, not... Okay, you're right. I'll, I'll check it over, but y'all need to double check. And if she's having no, a no, problem... No, 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 no. Once, once again, teaching? you checking it over is the problem. You're the problem. <laughs> sir, sir, if she got a problem, what she got a mother teacher for? What she got a teacher for? The te- let the teacher check the work. What's the difference? Let the teacher check the work. I'm not calling you no more. And you, what, hold on, what's your name again? You talking to me? My name is Mr. Yeah, Dang. Okay. I'm from the e learning. Okay, I don't give a damn for, for e learning. You need, oh, man. Look, I don't care what it is. I don't care about the first man so me. You get off this phone. I'm calling her. So right immediately. So she can tell me all this stuff you got to tell me. She don't got to hide behind you. She can call me directly. So thank you, Mr. Daniels. Let me know. Oh, it's about to go down. I don't even dare. I don't care no more. This school. If y'all got an issue with the way I'm teaching, take your kids back. Come teach in the front yard. I'll open up my door. You can talk teach my child from outside. You got a problem with it. But that's from right now, I'm all she got. I'm what she got. I'm a teacher. She gonna learn it the way I'm teaching her. If y'all got a problem, y'all got a problem. But she going to the seventh grade. Oh, best believe my baby going to the seventh grade. Okay, then, then, then maybe, maybe I just, maybe I need to talk to Brian, your husband. Maybe I need to talk to Brian. About what? You can talk to me. You can talk to me. You don't need to talk to him. You can talk to me. I speak.
seat for both of us. So not nah, talk to me. And what? Okay, well, I, and I just, I spoke with Brian a couple of days ago. So? Can you say nothing to me? So? And? Brian at okay. work. Okay, but, but you know what, what Brian said about this? Said what? Brian. Because he ain't tell me nothing. What? Brian told me to call you. He told me to prank phone call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve oh, Harvey man. Morning Show. Nikki, you just got pranked by your husband, Brian. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't love it, Kids been driving me up the wall. I hate this. I hate this. I don't understand this stuff. These kids driving me crazy. That's my kids. Nigga, you all right? <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, he get home. He get home. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Man, look, coronavirus don't have to see me after this. This is too much. I done started <laughs> drinking. Oh, Lord, come get these kids. Tell me one more thing, baby. It's 2020. Tell me what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land. It's the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> What's up? I love her. My oh, baby going to the seventh grade. My baby <laughs> going. She going to learn like I learned what? five times five is 25, okay? <laughs> All this new her. math y'all yeah. doing. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I <laughs> What she the damn mom? teacher. She supposed to be teaching. Uh-huh. Oh, my baby going to seventh grade. I, I, when I come down there, she'll be in the seventh grade. Yeah. <laughs> she will be in the seventh grade. Uh. All right. Uh, thank you, nephew. Coming up, uh, <laughs> the strawberry letter for today. This subject, Steve, is crazy. You're going to love this letter. Uh, the subject is, my baby won't stop cussing. <laughs> Taylor made for you. She needs some. Yeah, yeah, she needs some advice. What? <laughs> I probably was this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom wrote in, Junior. <laughs> All right, we'll get into the letter coming up at the top of the hour. Uh, again, the subject is my baby won't stop cussing right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Time now for today's Strawberry Letter. And if you need advice on relationships, dating, work, sex, parenting, and more, please, please submit your Strawberry Letter to Steve Harvey FM and click Submit Strawberry Letter. All right? We could be reading your letter live on the air, just like we're going to read this one right here, right now. Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Here it is, the Strawberry Letter. The subject, this letter just makes me laugh. My baby won't stop cussing. Uh, Junior says it's about him. We'll see. Uh, Dear Stephen Shirley, I am a 27-year-old married woman with a two-year-old son that won't stop cussing. Recently, (laughs) whenever he gets frustrated or upset, he starts cussing. If he falls down and hurts himself, he cusses. If you tell him no, he cusses. (laughs) I assumed he was hearing these cuss words from my husband because I don't cuss in front of him, so he is not hearing it from me. My husband swore to me that he has not been cussing in front of him either. So I figured the only other person it could be is my mother-in-law. I asked her and she said, (laughs) come on, Steve, you got to help me with this. She said, hell yeah, I cuss in front of the little lady. <laughs> That's what she said. I read these letters. Yeah. yeah. She said that because he's a brat when you're not around. I was shocked. I couldn't believe that she can't find a way to discipline him without using foul language. Uh, I want my son to have a relationship with his grandma, and she's a wonderful woman in a lot of ways, but we don't see eye to eye on this. She says she can't help it, and we should be teaching him to never repeat what he hears. But he's a two-year-old, and that's what small children do. I told her that she should lead by example, but she said when she is babysitting him, she will do things her way. My husband is stuck in the middle, and he has... Uh, said his mom is 60 and set in her way, so I said let it go. So I should let it go. He says we can teach our son not to cuss when he is a little older and can understand. I have a problem with all of this. Yes, his grandma is an authority figure, but it's my son, so I say we go by my rules. I don't want my baby cussing out his teachers at the daycare. How should I resolve this? Am I wrong? Please advise. I think you're a little bit too much on this issue, okay? Uh, Your baby's only two, and I I do agree with your husband. I think you should wait until he's a little older and he can understand. I I know so many 
kids, little young babies or children who used to cuss because that's what they see. And children are sponges. We all know that. They repeat what they see, and that's what they do. And you're right, your mom, uh, the mother-in-law, your husband's mom, is set in her ways, and she says, uh, when he's with him, when when he's with her, then they'll do things her way. So that's that's how she <laughs> puts the hammer down. She cusses at him, and he probably obeys when she does that. He knows what she means when he does that. Uh, so when she does that, so I just say, you know, loosen up just a little bit. It's going to get better um, when he gets older. He'll stop. Uh, or, or at least understand and not do it around you guys. At, at least you you can be hopeful for that. But yeah, the um, the grandmother's not going to change. You continue not to cuss in front of him and let him know every time he does it that it's wrong. He's only two. He's only two. He's going to grow and learn things. Don't worry. It's going to be all right. He's not going to be at the daycare cussing out the teachers and all of that. He's not going to do that. So um, just relax on this issue just a little bit. He's going to be fine, okay? Steve? Well, Shirley? (laughs) Yes. I disagree with everything you said (laughs) in this letter. I hope you don't mind. I do not. You know I'm to give good advice, but you missed it on this one, girl, baby girl. See, Shirley, the reason you missed it on this letter Uh is because you don't cuss. You need a cusser <laughs> to talk about a letter that's about cussing. See, I'm a cusser. Yes, you are. Yeah. My father was in the top three greatest cussers of all time. <laughs> all through the civil rights movement, everything. <laughs> My daddy cussed. Sitting at the counters at Woolworth, luncheon sit ins. My daddy was cussing. <laughs> Old Connors with them German shepherds and them fire hoses. My daddy was cussing. <laughs> My daddy got arrested. He was cussing. My daddy came to church. He was cussing. So, Shirley, I'm sorry you missed this letter. <laughs> this 27 year old lady got this two year old boy that won't stop cussing. When he gets frustrated or upset, he cuss. I do too. <laughs> When he fall down and hurt himself, he cuss. Every time I fall, I cuss. <laughs> if I tell him no, he cuss. If Marjorie tell me no, I cuss. <laughs> if my mama told me no, under my breath, I cuss. <laughs> Couldn't let her hear it, though. Right. <laughs> no. That's the point. So yeah. she assumed that these cuss words was coming from her husband. So she confronted him. He said it wasn't her. So she got to thinking the only other person it could be is my mother-in-law. So I asked her, did she cuss around the boy? She said, hell yeah, I cuss in front of his little lad. Because he a brat when you are not around him. So you got upset and thought he should find that she should find another way to discipline without using four letter words. She's a wonderful woman. She's in a lot of ways, but we don't see eye in eye. She says, I can't help it. That y'all should be teaching him to never repeat what he hears. And he's a two year old, and that's what children do. Well, Shirley said in her response that you've got to light up. He's only two. And things like that. Well, Shirley, hold on. We come back. I'm gonna tell you why I disagree with your statements. As I said, he cussing. (laughs) All right, hang on. This baby. (laughs) I knew you would. We'll come back with part two of Steve's response at 23 after the hour. The subject of the letter is my baby won't stop cussing, and neither will Steve Harvey. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, come on. Let's recap today's Strawberry Letter subject. My baby won't stop cussing. 27-year-old lady married, got a little two-year-old boy that cuss. <laughs> this is my baby right here. <laughs> Junior cuss said it was get him. upset. <laughs> cuss when he fall. Man. Cuss when he don't get his way. Cuss if you tell him no. This boy just cussing. And you found out. That it wasn't the husband, so you went to the mother-in-law and said, do you cuss in front of the baby? Her exact quote to this woman who wrote the letter was, <laughs> hell yeah, I cuss in front of his little ass. That's your favorite line in this whole letter. 
in this whole letter, in <laughs> any strawberry letter. <laughs> that we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, you talked to the mother and said you can't find another way to discipline him and everything. I don't want my son using foul language. And then, you know, you know that your mother-in-law is a wonderful woman in a lot of ways, but y'all don't see eye to eye. And uh, your, grandma, your mother said that you should teach the boy to not to repeat what he's heard. And then you said, but he's a two-year-old. And that's what small children do. Well, let me explain something to you. Small children shouldn't be allowed to cuss. Why don't you backhand his little ass? Since he cussed What? It. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> see, once again, what? here we go. A y'all, see her, y'all see her reaction? Yeah, a non-cusser. Yeah. I said back <laughs> What? You know why? Because oh she's my a God. non-cusser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Backhand the baby? Yeah. That's because yeah. you're not a cusser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. don't have cussing babies. Oh my God. <laughs> got to knock his little ass out. Exactly what they do to you. Because <laughs> Shirley come talking about he only two years old. Yeah. You should wait till he older. Let me tell you something. Cussing, cussing go deep. You go yes. deep, Shirley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, and the lady at the end, am I wrong? No, you're not wrong because cussing go deep. I've been cussing since I was Hello. four. Okay, really? And you knew- I've been an avid cusser 58. for 58 years. <laughs> he proud, too. Listen to Solid. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> Outstanding combinations. <laughs> I done put together some combinations that ain't been heard before, <sighs> and I've gotten results. If you don't stop this boy from cussing, I got news for you. He's never going to stop. He's not. You should nip it in the bud right now. Cussing is a habit, and it's a hard habit to break. So, Shirley, I disagree. The lady is right. She has every right to be upset. And the grandmama talking about when she with him, she got to do it her way. Stop cussing at the baby. Stop. <laughs> but you know why your son ain't going to say nothing? Because he knew he going to get his ass cussed out. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to get there. Uh, <laughs> he w- he. He know if he go in there to Bernadette and tell Bernadette, <laughs> stop Bernadette. all this cussing. <laughs> Bernadette, Bernice, Boinkins. <laughs> Bernadette, B-B-B. Bernice, uh-huh. Boinkins. The triple B's. Uh-huh. BBB. So, Shirley, ask me some before. questions. Uh-huh. I'm going to be a two-year-old. <laughs> I'm going to answer the question cussing, and y'all bleep out the cussing. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Come on, we got enough beeping. I know. <laughs> Come on, it's time to uh, get your bath so you can go to bed. Come on. Come on, Bobby. I I, I ain't taking no d- bath. <laughs> Bobby, watch your mouth. Get it, and don't forget. I can see. What, Bobby? I ain't mm. said s***. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby is not speaking that clearly at two. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let me sound like a baby. And, right. and hurry up. Come on, hurry up now so we can get to bed. Don't nobody want to go no d- bed. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Let's put your jammies on. I don't like these punk <laughs> jammies. <man. laughs> all right, all right. Come on, get in bed. But before you get in, say your prayers. Come on, we got to say your prayers. I don't like nobody. I got to pray for they punk. <laughs> Bobby. <What? laughs> All right, get in bed. I'm going to turn out the light. I know how you don't like the light off, but we got to start turning this light don't off. Don't turn Bobby. the light off, Mama. You know I ain't nothing but a little b- <laughs> 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 All right. All right. <laughs> so when are we going to start whooping behind? <laughs> when is that going to It's time for the whooping maybe, to start. Maybe you Come need on, to start whooping. <laughs> All right, right, you keep keep this cussing. I'm going to tell your daddy. You keep it up here. Ain't nobody scared of his. (laughs) (laughs) Tell grandma. (laughs) And And that ain't my real damn daddy. (laughs) No. Bobby, get in here. Say your prayers. Get in this bed and go to sleep. And if I don't. You gonna do? Oh, jeez! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> I know Grandma didn't teach him that. <laughs> Bobby, I'm gonna whip your butt. Okay, keep going here. You are gonna get your little butt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> is what you mean. Ah, all right, but listen. you don't cuss because you ain't never been a cussing before. <laughs> so you can't participate in this letter. It's little Bobby, I'm going to beat your ass. That was what grandma was saying. All right, listen, post your comments on today's crazy <laughs> strawberry letter on Instagram and Facebook at Steve Harvey at My grandmama said you wasn't <laughs> as a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the Strawberry Letter podcast on demand. All right, more of this crazy ignorant show, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, it's time for something funny. Let's go to Junior with his truth be told. Oh, I hope it's another poem, Junior. No, no, surely it's not. It's truth be told. <laughs> no, oh, listen, I did funny. something. I did do this, though. What? Last week, you know, last week got to me. We were talking about, you know, being ugly. Uh-huh. So mm-hmm. I went, called my family up, and just oh. took a poll. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to know uh-huh. what they really thought. I called some aunties and some cubs. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, uh... 100% came back up. No, not, not an all right. That you, you know, you possibly. No, 100%. But what really hurt my feelings was how fast they said. Uh, 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 but I just, I just discovered, right after they called me ugly, compliments started coming in. You know, you hard working though. You know, you know, you know, yeah. your spirit good. Yeah. You know, you know, I mean it was all this stuff can come back. So when I discovered it, truth be told, uh-huh. uh, when you ugly, people really love you for who you are. They, yeah. they not playing. Right. No, they really love you. Uh-huh. That's right. You know, I mean they just kept coming back. They like, yeah, yeah, you ugly. But listen, it, that's not what counts. It's what's on the inside. Right. That's right. Because right. like, you gotta encourage them. You gotta encourage them. Yeah. Uh, I, this was what messed me up. I had never heard this. What? My great aunt said, yeah, boy, you're, you're ugly. That ugly. But you come from good stock. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that <laughs> mean? Where the hell that is? I ain't never heard what that, you come from good stock. What that though. means is, who told you that? Your grandma? My great aunt. My oh, grandmother's well, see, sister. what that mean is your grandfather's grandfather got sold for a lot. Somebody found the paper. That's you hit the slave wheel. I did not know that. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> but, who would know? Hey, but when you're really ugly, don't feel bad ugly folk. People really do love you when they say they love you. The one or two friends I have ain't with me because I look good. They just like you because they know. <laughs> they know. And I know. I look in the mirror. Every time I look in the mirror, I know. <laughs> ain't no doubt. <laughs> ain't no doubt. You know, I thought maybe somebody in the family found me cute. Uh-uh. No. Nobody. Side, hey, man, my mother told me a long time ago, you're not going to be an attractive man. <laughs> <laughs> because we just don't have good-looking men in this family. <laughs> so always bathe yourself and wear nice clothes. <laughs> Keep, and that'll work. And, 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 and get them girls something else looking. Man, uh-huh. that's right. Because yeah. you're not finna walk in the room and uh-huh. nobody go, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> If they Man. do, they ain't talking about you. They just go on the show. And you know what? I've noticed that uh, every time you do hear that, it ain't never you. It's never. <laughs> and, uh, and you notice how quiet Tommy is? Because Tommy don't like to participate in this conversation. Because Tommy is the one boy anything. in our family think he cute. <laughs> I, I just was shocked. So how would you just, okay, did you ever think about if you were cute? I mean, I'm not saying uh-uh. you're not. No, I ain't never thought about it. You know, we, we just a dude. You just... Uh-huh. You know, oh yeah, my life be a whole lot different. Yeah, if, like if, if I if, if I was just light skin, I'd I'd have a different life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really lighter. We'll be back after this, okay? <laughs> You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, it is time for I comedy roulette I with Steve, it. Jay, Tommy, and Junior. <laughs> uh, come on, Jay, quickly set this one up. Every first, week, it's the same thing. <laughs> You test our comedy ability. Yeah. Put five subjects on the wheel where the wheel stop. We'll let it rip because that's what we do, baby. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> and here are the five subjects. Thank you, Jay. Number one, people who don't like plantains. That's me. That's me. Oh, don't bananas. put that on my plate. That is not a banana. <laughs> All right. Number two, stop lying. You're smoking something. Not okay. like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Number three, whiskey breath. Yeah. <laughs> four, people who get in, get on other people's nerves. That's, That's number good. four. Yeah. And number five, I thought they were dead already. I they were dead Let's already. do that one. That's certainly right there. That's certain. That's certain. I thought they were dead already. She say that. Uh, All right. Send the wheel. Come on. Come on. Let's go with the wheel. 
see where it stops. Dead already. Dead already. Uh oh. Look at that. Stop lying. You smoking something. Oh. Yeah. Let, me, let me start this off. I know you smoking something. We've been at this light for an hour and a half. <laughs> and, his game, and you ain't moved. Everybody is passing us. And we still sitting here. Yeah. And you got that dazed look on your face. Yeah. You on something. Don't tell me you ain't on no, nothing, no, right? No, no, no. I, I know exactly what you mean. Some of these people in my family. I, somebody got on the phone with me and said, I'm 36 months pregnant. I said, hey, I know you smoke something. That baby three. Okay. Put your put your put the phone to your stomach. Let me talk to this baby. I know you smoke something. I, uh -oh, hold on, hold on. Months? I asked yeah. you. I asked you. Who you went to the party with, and you said it was you and Scooby Doo. You smoking <laughs> something? All right, you really smoking you something? You own something, man. <laughs> <laughs> you leave out somebody's house, uh huh, and you get to the stairway and you head down the steps and you look back and your boy just standing there looking at them steps and you gotta go. Come on, dog, it's just some steps. <laughs> Come on, dog. These yeah. is just steps. You talk <laughs> <it> down. <laughs> Man, what the hell going on? Yeah. It's just steps. Yo. No, I had a dude do that one time. Just stopped at the steps. I said, boy, your ass so high. Come on. Man. Man. Just step. Mountain. Yo, <laughs> come on. You ain't high, but your eyes are crimson red. Really? <laughs> really? You yeah. ain't smoking nothing? Nothing. Your eyes are crimson red. You mm. smoking something, man. Now, Come on. I'm going to tell you, I'm tell you, you know they really smoking something. <laughs> when they've been missing for two weeks, uh -huh. and they come back like they just left 15 minutes ago. Okay, no. No, yeah. you smoke something. You, yeah. Where you been? Everybody looking for you? I know they smoking because they always show up right before the holiday. Uh. Mm, no, 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 here it is. When you decide you're going to wash your hair, you go in the bathroom. There's a sink there. There is a bathtub there. Why are you in the toilet shampooing <laughs> your hair? <laughs> yeah, dog, no, you, 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 you smoking something. You smoking something. You smoking something. What are they on? Mm -hmm. yeah. right <laughs> okay, come on, you Steve. You sitting around with your boys talking. Uh. <laughs> he wait till everybody get through it. He say, you know what I think I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to go on and buy that new Bugatti. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? The million dollar car? Uh, what? The million dollar car? You can cool. afford that? That is a cool million. Uh, Bugatti. <laughs> He's smoking something. <laughs> well, you tell me you ain't smoking them, but there's a lot of little dots, little holes, little burn holes on everything <laughs> you own. <laughs> Ed, everything. You take one shirt out. It's got uh -oh. burnt holes on it. You pull another shirt out. It's got burnt holes yeah. on it. Yeah. Your car seat, uh, burnt holes everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> but you ain't smoking that. Coming up, more of the Steve Harvey Morning Show right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right. We do the countdown every day because we want to make sure that we're on top of it and you're on top of it. Mm -hmm. 59 days left. Remember when it was over 100 days? Well, this time it's going fast. It's 59 days left until the November 3rd election. So please go to vote.org. That's vote.org. So you can early register, early vote. Get that out of the way so you can say, I voted. 59 days left until the November 3rd election, Steve. Go to vote.org. We got to get it done, man. This, yeah. is, this is so serious, y'all. You know, we got to tell people, don't hold your vote. I don't know That's if people realize, Trump. Steve, we, I mean, we're saying it every day, but how important this election really is. We can't mm -hmm. take, Junior, four more years of this. Right. No, sir. No, 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 I can't. I really can't. And, and, well, yeah, and why would we if we have yeah. the power to change it? Exactly. You have sure. the power to change it. Mm -hmm. So why would you take four more years of this? Yeah. Really? I can't let my nephew see this for four more years. Yeah. 
You remember um, Steve was talking about the kids and, and some of the kids in this generation and how mm-hmm. all the only president they knew was a Barack Obama. Barack Obama. That's my daughter. Yeah, she was right. born in 2008. Mm-hmm. That's the only president right. she knew. You know, the first black president, she was like, he was my only president. You know, yeah. that's who she grew mm-hmm. up with. Right. So, she like, about? what's going on? It's right. been great. That is messed up for me. Racism. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. We got to vote, guys. We do do our part. Vote.org. 59 days left. All right, coming up, we'll have more news and more trending stories coming up at 33 minutes after the hour, right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, Jay's here. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you this with great pleasure, a man that murders hits, relationships, and friendships, Jay Anthony Brown. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Johnny Gill wrote a song called Soul of a Woman. I love this song. Soul of a Woman. Great song. I was on the set when he did a video. Great song. My song, along with my buddy Ralph Harris, Uh Hawkins Jr., we wrote Someone Stole My Woman. So Uh check it out. Coming up, it's Steve Harvey and his closing remarks. You don't want to miss it at 49 after the hour. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, here we are. Last break of the day on this Friday. Last break of the week, actually. It's Friday. Yeah, these weeks are flying Mm. by. (laughs) Flying by. We started this thing, what, in what, mid-March? March, March, yeah. Beginning of March, something like Mm -hmm. that. No, not mid-beginning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, to me. No March vacations this summer. We didn't have none of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? What? No. March 19th was my last day of taping TV. And uh, oh, okay. we just so started back. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. wow. That was tough, man. man. It's, yeah. You're right, though. The whole summer's gone. Yeah, it's the we're spring and gone. summer. Yeah. We lost spring and mm-hmm. summer. We did. Man, I normally take my wife and kids somewhere. That was out. That didn't mm-hmm. happen. Man. Everybody, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I normally be somewhere for my birthday this summer. Nothing. Yes. Big know, dog, you, you normally be on what? The what's it? The Mediterranean. Nice. <laughs> 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 Out there swinging and playing, yeah. Man, in the Life water. has changed, yeah. So now, then the ocean it. don't ever get in it. 
Mm-hmm. But how about this, though, Steve? You don't even hear about Italy having a hard time with the coronavirus anymore. Like we oh, no, 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 no. Why? We have because a lot what? of friends in Italy. They're, mm-hmm. they've, they've completely recovered just about. They I mean, they why? still have cases, but they're back to normal. Italy yeah. is open. Because uh, they Capri shut is open. Milan is open. Uh, they're shipping clothes back out again. Everything. Mm-hmm. Because they shut the country down, they social distanced, they wore their masks, they washed their hands. And it wasn't an option. Right, and it wasn't an option. That's our problem. That's our problem. When you allow every governor to make different decisions across the country. Well, well, now, hold on. Uh -uh, uh -uh, Uh-uh, 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 Tommy. Uh -uh, Uh-uh, uh-uh. What, Steve? He didn't just, he didn't let governors make their own decisions. He strongly suggested to the red states that they reopen. He, he never wore a mask, which as a leader set the example. So guess what they were talking about? That's my civil rights not Mm -hmm. to wear a mask. You idiot. They made it political. And so they turned and then they said that Democrats and the left don't want to open back up because they want the economy to stay down for political purposes. No, man, it was for health reasons, man. Yeah. But the reason you wanted it open was because of political reasons so you could yeah. get the economy stimulated again because that's what you were running on was a strong economy. But the strong economy is at the expense of lives. We are over 160,000 people gone in this country. And this is America. So just wrap your mind around this number, y'all. Right. And because we don't wear masks, Steve, this is why the children aren't in school. This is why our kids aren't in school, because people would not politicize this whole mask thing. And we let these children down in the spring and summer, and they can't go back to school because of that. But President Trump is insisting that schools open. If you don't open, he won't fund you. And the reason he's doing that, because he has no children that have to be exposed to corona. Mm-hmm. But you, you got some schools that have that already he, opened, Steve, that, that, and these people are already oh, infected. And they in Georgia red states, it. man. Y'all y'all listening? Yes, oh, we yeah, are. We yes, we're, yeah. we're they agreed. in red states because them ignorant-ass governors is trying to be his all up in his behind, trying to make sure that he sees them Careful. doing his wishes and deeds. Right. This yeah. thing doesn't care about how much money you make. It don't care about your position in life. It don't care about your race, creed, or your sexual preference. This is a problem that's facing all of us, and our leadership has failed us miserably. And no, it's not our governor's fault. It's our governor's fault for being led down this dark path by this Republican president who pressed on all of his Republican constituents to follow his lead. And that was wrong of him to make those governors think that they had to do that. Because if you don't do what Trump says, then he come after you. And what he did to a lot of these governors was flat out wrong. He forced the opening. He wanted schools to go back in. It was all too soon. And it was all for political reasons. And now this man has the audacity to talk about Joe Biden and talk about he is against God. Are Are you kidding me, man? What are you, you? What are you talking about? That he's gonna hurt the country. He's gonna hurt God, man. This man right here, y'all. This man is so unpresidential. Listen to me, Steve Harvey Morning Show listeners. You have to get to the polls. You are the deciding factor. Period. I'm listening to all these ball players talk about voting, man. I'm so inspired by these young people, man, because they serious. Now, is he behind in the polls? Yes. But let me remind you all, four years ago, he was behind in the polls, too. He wasn't winning nowhere, and he wound up the president. Don't get lulled to sleep by these polls. Damn these polls. Polls don't vote. And you've got to understand that this is a part of voter suppression. What they oftentimes like to do is make you think that the opponent is so far ahead that you say, well, he got it and you stay home. That ain't how this working this time, man. We have to vote. He's not the right person for this job. 
And if you think he is, man, it's because you got on blinders, man, and you're not looking at this thing the right way. It's okay to be conservative. I don't have a problem with that. But him, though, he's the guy you want to represent. I, I, I find that hard to believe. We voting him out November 4th. It's over. It's a wrap. Thank you. Vote.org. <laughs> For all Steve Harvey contests, no purchase necessary, void where prohibited. Participants must be legal U.S. residents at least 18 years old unless otherwise stated. For complete contest rules, visit steveharveyfm.com. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. 